This year, physical training has been a big thing in my life. It's allowed me to cope with stress, but also see what's possible, what I'm capable of. So I decided to attempt the Guinness World Record. I actually came up with this idea while browsing online and seeing a few world records for push-ups. And push-ups and I have been friends for a long time. And this year, we got even closer. So I set on breaking the world record for knuckle push-ups. So I started looking up what the rules are for a Guinness world record and I started doing a ton of push-ups. And I even started studying past record holders to see how they did it. You see how this guy never goes below the elbows, right? So I know I need to change my thing. I want to, essentially, I want to get my technique as sloppy as it's possible. Um, this is the current record holder. I know this guy very well now. Same here. Never below the elbow. But there was a problem. I was facing a lot of resistance. I didn't want to put myself in the game in front of other people, especially knowing that there was a possibility I might not get there. So I called it off. Yo, what's up you guys? So I actually postponed the record because one of the judges uh, canceled. And also I'm feeling a bit of resistance. And maybe it's because, you know, I equaled the record, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to get it. And uh, putting myself out there and not knowing whether I'll fail or succeed. It's tough. What is up? So I just uh, did 125, possibly 115 push-ups in one minute. I'm not sure because I, I'm not sure how many um, tens I counted, but for sure 115, maybe 125, that's amazing. However, one thing I haven't told you is that I am visiting friends. I'm no longer in London, um, which means I need to find judges, timekeepers, and a gym. I was back. Again. Hey, what's up? I'm here with Rob. Finally, have a place and a time for the attempt. So it's going to be on Saturday. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. We're going to go at 11, uh, 11 15 on Saturday. Looking forward to seeing him smash it. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit nervous now, but we're going to do it. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Cheers, Rob. All it took was one decision. I was going to do it. I'm back, so um, I'm organising a new attempt with another gym and I'm all, I also got in touch with a couple of past record holders so let's see what they say, really excited. Cool, so I have a, a reply from Ron, he's a, a past record holder of the same one I'm going for and also he holds like, I think four or five Guinness World Record uh, which is really cool, so we're going to speak on Monday, looking forward to that. I'm about to go to Ron. Ron Cooper, he holds like three or four Guinness World Records and he was a, a previous holder of uh, the knuckle push-up, most knuckle push-ups per minute, which is the record I'm going for right now. And he holds like three or four other records. He's based in the US, so he's uh, four or five hours behind. So you're gonna have a chat now, really excited to talk to someone else, get some uh, feedback, get some advice. Yeah, great to connect. Wow, I can see like the, the world record is right, right behind you. Yeah, that's right. That's right here in my office. I threw a couple of those up. <laughs> yeah, I know that you, you hold a few, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah. How many is it now? Uh, I've broken 23 different ones. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't broken any in about a year. Maybe eight or ten months or something, so... That's a great like sentence. Five. That's such a great <laughs> sentence. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's how I feel. So I keep it probably like a smaller crowd. What I was thinking is actually to do it in a CrossFit gym, just to have the right people around. Um, That's where I do almost all my CrossFit. Yeah. 
you don't need to go quite below, mm -hmm. but you just want to be there. Mm -hmm. and, and that's like straight. It doesn't need to be like yeah. that straight. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, uh, send me some footage too for the attack up. I'd be, uh, you know, I'll, I'll let you know if, if uh, in my opinion, if they, if I think they'll, they'll green light it or not. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Yeah. I still needed a bit of extra motivation the day before the attempt. So I called my mum. <laughs> hey, mum. How are you feeling about tomorrow? Yeah, I'm okay. Um, I was a bit nervous at first because I did between 90. So I need to get to 114. I did between 90 and 125. So it depends on the day. But I was a lot more nervous a couple of weeks ago. I didn't want to do it two or three weeks ago. And now I feel okay. Good luck, my love. Was I ready? Yeah, I feel a bit nervous, but it's good to be in a crossfit box, you know. See how people work out. Let's do it. Yes. Come on, let's have it. Come on. Come on, man. 20, 30, 40, 50, 70. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing, let me do it. 100. So in the end, the lactic acid set in and I started slowing down for the last 15, 20 seconds and I got to 108, where my target was 114. And even though I went back a few days later for a second attempt, I only got to 109. On the day of the second attempt, I felt great. But then the energy of the gym was very low and I also didn't really know how many push-ups I was doing. And so again, I got to 109. But I'm not done. In fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to train for 90 seconds instead of one minute so that I can develop that stamina that I need and then go at it again. And a big thing here is if you have a goal or something you want to show yourself or you want to achieve, don't change the goal, change your strategy if it's not working. And also, another big lesson from this attempt is that I felt so much resistance. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to put myself in the game. But what I understood is that if you want to have a chance to win, if you want to have a chance to get whatever you want, you've got to give yourself a chance to lose. Otherwise, you will never be able to have that opportunity. When I was training, I was doing all this work and really pushing my limit, but that really is nothing. All that internal work is nothing unless you put yourself out there and go do it. So in the meantime, give your boy a like and a subscribe and I'll keep you posted on my next attempt and my next adventures. Speak soon.